بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم Today in this lecture I will be giving you introduction that how how to think like quality it will be lecture number 1 part A with the help of this lecture we will be going through all introductory level questions that how a word quality can be implemented in different projects or in different steps we know that whenever we start think, thinking to start new project or to compile any specific task we obviously start thinking about quality that what would be the best approach for that specific project as we know that in this course we will be focusing on software quality assurance and all its aspects so that the main question that what quality is and how we can implement in our project at that stage it's good to have an opinion that what you are doing and why you are doing through this course i will assume that you will learn the best while watching all lectures as you are interested in quality and want to know answers of all these questions and to know the meanings software quality assurance we are going to learn the basic rules and principles as well as we will be learning that how to think about quality process how we can incorporate the quality in your project and its step we will also be covering different questions among those question one is why you should be concerned about this word quality and why you should be concerned about this word quality being a quality tester among all questions one of the important question is this and when i should start to incorporate quality assurance in process as we are applying the quality and different principles of quality in our project then we should be also be concerned that what will be the exact and accurate time of incorporating quality assurance in our processes whether i have to apply on specific step or i have to apply on whole project but when to apply when it will be the exact and accurate timing to get the quality or to achieve 100% quality in my project it's necessary that an engineer a quality engineer must think of these questions as it's his responsibility to build quality in his project among those in your industry in your organization or in your team some will think and argue that development will be begin right before the beginning we should do the documentation and at same time some will think that just begin the work why some men think that just begin the work because they don't know the exact position that what you are going to do so being a software testing engineer you should define each and every step of your project to each and every member within the organization or within the team so when they will get to know about all the condition then obviously and there will be a chance that they will agree to start documentation before the project in spite of this to search and think about the appropriate time to start formal testing it's a bit wise to think that everyone in the circle is responsible for quality because before the start 
the team member and specific person as the software testing engineer is exactly and directly responsible for that task. After completing the task, it would be possible that those those involved in the surrounding are also possible for the quality effects. The most familiar the quality engineer are with what your goals are. The easier will be to determine the best test strategy. When you know your goals, you will easily know that which type of strategy you are going to apply in your project. As soon you will know the exact goals of your testing strategies and exact goal of your bug recovery, then obviously the, st the test strategy become more easier than before. Ideally, the engineer will be focused on testing early, often to identify the bug errors as soon as they arise in that project. During this process, it is important that as soon you will know about the issue, it will be easy to recover. I also find example from Google that how to write bug report. I hope it will help to give you an idea that how we can track bugs in different projects. As you can see, it's giving you status, customer impact, as well as different other things related to the bugs. You can also use different other softwares and tools to find bugs in your project at any step or in whole. There are six most popular bug tracking tools. Among those, few are listed here. Let's see what are those tools. Track. It's also one of the bug tracking tools and it is an open source and an improved wiki and issue tracking system for particular software development project. You can use this to find bug and track it within the project, whether it's new for you or the older one. Bugzilla, the another tool to track the bugs. REQ test, bug tracking tool. Bug hug, another bug tracking tool. Jara, bug tracking tool. Methods, another bug tracking tool. So, six most popular bug tracking tools which I found at top listed in on Google makes your life easy within the project if you don't know that where the bug is. I will also cover short introduction about each tool in next lecture. Software development tech takes some principles to incorporate testing early. To learn how, with the help of example, go and just click on lecture number one, part B, for further description. Stay connected with this channel for more updates, lectures and courses. Thank you.